How's it going guys, Daniel here. Today I'm gonna to talk about my two week experience with the Mate 20. This phone is running off of the current 980, which is more than enough for me. I'm an average user, so I just scroll through social media, I browse through websites and go on YouTube. So I don't really use this to the max. I don't do a lot of heavy gaming. I don't do anything that's really app heavy on this phone. At most, maybe some photo editing. But other than that, it's really smooth and I don't see any lag at all when I'm scrolling through pages on Facebook or Instagram. I, I don't see any like frame dropouts or anything like that. So overall, it's a really smooth experience. Since I'm an average user, the battery can easily last me throughout the day or even until the next morning. Now, if you are a heavier smartphone user or you do game a lot more, then this phone can still last you throughout the day, but of course you just have to know that you will be charging every night. Another neat feature is that this phone will remind you which app is killing your battery, so it will tell you and you can easily just force quit that app. Therefore, this phone can last you even longer throughout the day. The Mate 20 is a big phone and I have small hands, so that doesn't really mix and my hands do feel uncomfortable using this phone, but the gestures really changed the game for me. The new gesture I use the most is the back button. Now there is no longer the back button on the bottom of the screen, it is gone now so you get more uh, screen real estate and you can go back just by swiping anywhere on the left or right of the screen if you're using it with your right hand. Now I don't have to worry about reaching all the way down for the back button. I can just swipe left from wherever my thumb is when I'm holding the phone. Now that I've gotten so used to doing this gesture, I've started doing this on other phones subconsciously. By far, this is one of my favorite cameras to use on a phone. It gives me so many options, I can just use it as a regular camera, I can go ultra wide, I can go macro with the ultra wide, and I can go telephoto. Now my favorite mode is the aperture mode, because I can get those DSLR type of pictures. Now it's not going to be as good as a DSLR camera, but I can easily get that similar image with a camera in my pocket. Now it's nice that you can set the blur after you take the picture as well and you can set the different focus points to what you want to be in focus and what you want to be out in focus. The next thing I do like about the camera is night mode. Now I do find it darker than the auto mode which I do think more people would prefer the auto mode than the night mode just because for one, it's darker. Two is that you have to wait four seconds to take a picture. Now it might not be sharp or as clean but I do think majority of the time I would prefer the picture on auto mode than night mode. The dynamic range on this phone is really good as well. I do find some pictures to be a bit over processed but overall these pictures are pretty much ready to share on social media. For video it does 4k 30 which is pretty good. I wish it can shoot in 4k 60 so I can slow it down and get some cinematic stuff. And when I'm shooting in low light, I do see a lot of jitterness. I wish I can turn that stabilization off so I can get a cleaner look, even though it is more uh, handheld and shaky. And another feature I do like about this camera is that it turns off when you're not using it. Sometimes I just leave it on so I can get another shot close by, but if I'm not using it after maybe two minutes, it'll just turn off, therefore saving more battery so I can shoot longer. Overall, my two week experience has been great. Initially, I thought that I wouldn't like this phone because it's big, but the gestures changed my mind. I do love that new back gesture where it doesn't matter which hand I'm holding on. Uh, I can just swipe left or right from any sides of the screen, which makes it so much easier to hold and handle this phone. I do prefer the Mate 20 Pro's form factor, which is way more comfortable to hold than the Mate 20. Battery life on this phone easily lasts me throughout the day. The overall EMUI this year is much more easier to use and cleaner, so I do find it much better than last year. And I think this camera is perfect for the creative person who just love taking pictures. There's so many options and so many features on this camera phone that you can just take whatever you want and it looks good. So thanks for watching guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.